Hello viewers and aspirants, welcome to my another doubt clearing session. So, UPSC frames questions based on those topics and news that make rounds in the newspaper and the televisions. But due to the dynamic nature of this examination, covering just the newspaper is not enough. And that is why we rely on other important sources such as PIB and PRS. PIB is Press Information Bureau and PRS is the PRS Legislative Research. They provide us content that complement our current affairs knowledge. So in this video, I am going to tell you what to cover and what not to cover from PIB and PRS. Now why PIB? See, it is the legitimate source of information from the side of the government. So it is the one-stop destination of all the uh, government policy decisions. It will provide you content on uh, government schemes, policies, programs, etc. In that way, it acts as the best repository of government related news. Well, even uh, PRS has good content. It provides you excerpts on many issues. Particularly, if you look at the monthly analysis published by PRS, it provides you certain contents that are very relevant for our examination. For example, you'll find content on important features of certain policies. You'll find uh, bills passed by the parliament along with its analysis. You'll find committee reports and its recommendations and also uh, important questions that were raised in the parliament are all covered in it. Most importantly, opinion on all these matters is also given in this monthly analysis. And particularly if you take the summary that is provided for schemes and uh, bills or acts of the government, it will provide you an idea about that topic along with the opinion which helps you in your mains answer writing. So in this way PIB and PRS are useful for our examination. But will you be covering everything that is available in PIB and PRS? Let me take an example here. Let us visit the PIB website. You can also use the PIB app that is launched by the government. It is available in Play Store. Now, I want news that appeared on April 1st of 2022. As you can see here, there are 125 press releases on that particular day. So, you have boatload of information on the government policies, programs, etc. But what will you do here? Will you be covering everything? So, many of these informations are not relevant for us and uh, many are repetitive in nature. So here, even if you plan to cover everything, it will take you hours and hours of time to comprehend and to find the relevant information for the exam preparation. And even if you do that, finally, how will you retain all this information in your permanent memory? And that is why filtering the topics is very important. Now, before that, I'm going to tell you what you will not be covering. Because this same applies for PRS also, you should not be covering political news and local news. For example, there will be news on uh, appointments uh, made in the government, there will be news on the allegations made by the opposition party on the ruling government. These kinds of news articles are not relevant for us. So you will be choosing those topics that is relevant for the examination plus those ones that you can link with the conventional subjects. So remember that even though UPSC is changing its pattern every year, the core is still unchanged because UPSC rarely asks those topics that are unheard or unseen by the students. So what are the topics that you should focus on? Or what are the topics that should be filtered from PIB and PRS? See, focus on those topics like uh, that talk about international conventions, that talk about scientific innovations or uh, the acts or bills of the parliament, especially those acts and bills that are contentious and also the schemes which come again and again in the news. Focus on that. Particularly focus on the syllabus related topics. Yes, syllabus is very important in your preparation. You should know it by heart. See, in the beginning, it may seem difficult to remember the syllabus, but once you start comparing the syllabus with the news analysis, it will be easy for you. If you watch our Hindu news analysis, we also do a uh, comparison of syllabus with the topic, right? We'll tell you how to link it with each topic. So you can do that on your own. So after filtering these topics, you have to note that topic. You have to note down why is it a news and you have to note the basics about that topic. 
then you have to revise it regularly. But remember that even though you are covering through the PAB articles and PRS news snippets, if there is any news that is really important, it will be definitely in newspaper. It will come today or tomorrow, but it will be definitely in newspaper. There are only few news stories that are left out by newspapers. And that is why in such a scenario, there is also another handy solution available, which is relying on the monthly compilations that is provided by institutes. See, in these monthly compilations, you can find relevant information from the current affairs, including the PAB articles and PRS articles. Even Shankarai's Academy publishes a daily and monthly current affairs versions. You can find the monthly current affairs version in the form of a magazine in our IAS Parliament website. So I hope I cleared your doubt in this session regarding what to study and what not to study from the PIB and PRS articles. I'll meet you all in my next session. Thank you.